We're here with head women's basketball coach Kate peterson Abiad. And Kate, can you just talk about your overall feelings over today's uh, contest here at VCU? I was really proud of the kids. I think they played a very, very I think they played very well. I think they played a good game. Um, you know, we're still growing as a team, and what I'm seeing is uh, a, a lot of team chemistry and a lot of team unity. And I was really, really proud of the way we executed. Um, had some critical turnovers at difficult times, um, but still we're in a position to win this game against a very good team, a team that um, outsized us in every position, um, and you know, right down to the last possession, and, and that ball could have bounced in as easily as it bounced out. So, uh, really really think we can take a lot forward with us from this game. Um, disappointed to get the loss, but uh, really proud of the way we played. Can you expand on the end of the game a bit? Talk about what transpired over the last few minutes, tying the game, taking the lead, and then the in the final seconds. Gosh, you're going to put me to the test now. <laughs> um, well, you know, we got our first lead of the game very late, and, and um, and I thought, you know, we chipped away, chipped away, and then they would come down and hit a big basket. And then we finally took the lead here um, and executed well. We were running a, a you know, a, I guess an aggressive driving offense where we were able to kick the shooters or get into gaps and, and get shots. And, um, you know, and then got to the free throw line a few times and, you know, knocked down some free throws, uh, which helped us take the lead. Um, down here at this end, they ex executed an out-of-bounds play. Uh, we got caught on a screen, and uh, actually one of our players fell to the ground. And, um, you know, we weren't able to recover. They ended up getting a layup off of that. Um, you know, with 18 seconds to go, just needed one stop. And it's a very familiar place for our team. This is, um, this is where we were last year, just needing one stop to, to, um, to secure a win. And uh, when they scored that layup, I know we had a lot of, you know, eyes that cast to the ground and, and kind of dro drooping heads. But after the timeout, we drew up a play. I thought they executed it very well. We got a, a great look at the basket. Um, it, it came in and out. I thought Corey took it aggressively to the basket and could have could have got fouled and, and you know, very closely made the basket. But um, ball didn't bounce our way in that in that possession, and we didn't end up winning. But we did enough to win. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the win. You had four players scoring double figures tonight. Can you talk about your offense and how you were able to spread the ball around? Well, this is the first time we've faced a zone in um, probably since our first game of the season. And, and even then, we faced it very limited amount. Um, so we've been trying to prepare for this zone team and, and what types of looks we would have here. Um, so we used a lot of different offenses. We tested out a, a few offenses to see how they would uh, work against their extended zone. Um, we found a couple of really good options for us, and we had a lot of people knocking down shots. So when you have that, and you know, we had six kids I think hit threes tonight. Um, when you have that kind of, I guess, diversity on the team, so that you can, uh, you, you know, there's nobody that they can't guard or they don't, you know, that they can leave open. I guess. Um, so that was really helpful to us. Um, you know, Haley continues to hit the threes from the outside, uh, which is great for us. Imani knocked one down tonight. And, um, Kirsten and Corey obviously give us good looks from the perimeter as well. I, I thought Corey came to life for us tonight after having a few games where, you know, she really um, wasn't very powerful in the scoring column. So, what I really like about this team is that we are giving uh, people a lot of looks because we have a variety of ways that we can score. We have a lot, a variety of people who can score rather than just being predominantly, you know, one one person scoring team. So. I think we're going to grow a lot because of that. So I'm really proud of the effort tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks.